guys. So it's actually Wednesday and not Friday, but <laughs> I always pre-record my stuff usually, um, except on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but, um, yeah. So it is how many days before Christmas? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, four days before Christmas. And I finally did the last because I got paid today. I finally did the last of my Christmas shopping today. And oh my gosh, it was crazy. I went to like six stores, maybe seven. And I only bought from half of them. Um, I was looking for stuff for my husband for a gift that I got him, which I will show you what I ended up getting at the end of this video because it's actually an Amazon order. So um, let me just get into the, f this isn't the first store that I went to, but this is the one where I got like the least stuff and I don't even have a bag for it. But um, if you saw my video of the instant print camera that I got Brooklyn off of Temu, um, it needed a USB charger for it. So I just went to the $1 zone and I grabbed one of these. They're $1.25 plus eight cents in tax. I paid $1.33 for this all together. So I'm gonna put that in the box with the camera and then I'm gonna wrap it because I have mostly everything wrapped. So I'm just gonna do the last of my wrapping tonight and then I'll be done with everything until Josh's Amazon order comes and I have to wrap that as soon as it gets here. But um, yeah, so if you haven't seen that video and you would like to, it's like, it's kind of like a Polaroid or like the Fujifilm kind of thing. Um, if you haven't seen the video and you would like to because you're interested in purchasing something like that, I will um, put the link to that video in the description box down below in case you would like to watch that. All right, so that was the $1 zone. The first place I actually went to was Target, which, okay, let me tell you what I specifically was looking for. So I got my husband from Temu a trail cam, a trail camera, which it's gonna be in a future video. You'll see it. It's really neat looking. Um, but it didn't come with an SD card and it didn't come with a lock. So um, in order to make sure that it doesn't get stolen, you need to lock it to a tree or something like that um, so that no one can steal it. So I had to order that on Amazon and I ordered an SD card for it because it did not come with an SD card. And yeah, so I ordered those two things. I will show you pictures of those at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, so went to Target, did not find that at all. They barely have any like hunting and fishing section, but I did get two things for my stepson there. So last weekend, um, my husband and I went to GameStop and we got my stepson a new um, Nintendo Switch because his, the game cartridge, where you put the game cartridges, cartridges in, it stopped working and he has like 30 games that aren't on the thing they're like game cartridge things so he's not able to use most of his games so we got him a new one and now he'll be able to play all his games and stuff and I think there's a way to transfer all of his information from the one switch to the other so that all the games that were purchased online can be used as well and all his game progress and all that but anyways um I got him two cards. I got him a Nintendo eShop gift card, $10. And then I got him this. So he has the Cuphead game, but this is a like add-on, um, game add-on. So it says Cuphead in the delicious last course. And what this does, and it says another helping of Cuphead action awaits the DLC add-on. Join Cuphead, Mugman, and all new Miss Chalice for an adventure of an undiscovered Inkwell Isle. Use new weapons, magical charms, and Miss Chalice's unique abilities to take cast of fearsome, larger-than-life bosses. So, it gives you n new, like, weapons to unlock and um, magical charms and abilities and new bosses, I think. So, that's pretty neat. I'm excited for him to open that. He's going to love that. He loves, um, Cuphead. So do all the kids. 
And then Brooklyn's been wanting a Squishmallow so bad. I was like done with her stuff. Done. But then I saw this on sale. Um, they're originally, it doesn't have the original price, but they're originally like sometimes like over $12 for the bigger ones like these, like 15 sometimes. Um, but this was on sale, let's see, for $7. Okay, so the regular price is $11.99. Um, I guess this isn't the large, large one, but it's bigger than the ones at Five Below, I can tell you that. Um, this was on sale for $7.19. So I picked this one up as well. And this was also, this cuphead thing was $7.99. So she's going to be excited about this. I did get her like a boba tea stuffy, but this is an actual Squishmallow, which she would ask for. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to buy that. So all together, I paid $25.18 plus $0.92 cents in tax. So I paid $26.10 for that order. And I saved $4.80, which I'm excited about. Then, I don't even know where I went next. I went to like Lowe's. I went to all these places to search for the lock and the SD card. I ended up finally at Walmart. <laughs> A different, actually, I didn't buy anything from that one. A different Walmart, like all the way out, um near where Dick's Sporting Goods is because I went to Dick's to look and see their hunting and fishing section is garbage unless you go to like Pottstown which I was not going to drive all the way out there so I ended up just leaving Walmart um because Walmart did not have what I was looking for either then next to that there was a GameStop and I stopped in there because I was looking for gift cards for my stepdaughter and her boyfriend so i did find those i got some amazon gift cards they did not have anything higher than 25 i was going to get her a 50 and her boyfriend a 25 but i ended up just getting three 25s because that's all they had and everywhere else i looked had zero amazon gift cards so i guess everybody and their brother is buying them because everybody and their brother shops on amazon but yeah, I got three $25 gift cards. So two of them are going to my stepdaughter. The other one is going to her boyfriend. Then I got this for my stepson. It was $7.99 and this is 1,000 V-Bucks for Fortnite. So now he has several things to open along with his new Switch because yeah, I was worried that he wasn't going to have a lot to open, but now he has a couple things. Then I was searching through like the, it was, um, 50% off of clearance prices. So I was looking through all the clearance shirts and I found this one and I could not believe the price. So this is Loki and my husband and I are huge Marvel fans, him more than me. So I was like, I have to get him that. They only had an extra large, which is going to be a little big on him because he did lose weight, but um, that's fine. I'll, most of his shirts are extra large anyways, um, and it'll probably shrink in the wash. But this was on clearance for $6.97. What? I got it for half off. So I paid $3.49 for this shirt. I was like, I could not pass that up. And... Loki's pretty awesome, so he's really going to be excited about that. So, with the gift cards, all together at GameStop, I paid $86.48, and there was zero tax, so that was really neat, and I saved $3.48, and I got a whole bunch of points. I already had 11,000 points, and... After this, I'm probably going to have like 15000 which that would be like $15 off my next order. So that's pretty exciting. I'm happy about that. All right. And lastly, I went to the Walmart down the road for me because I did go with my friends this morning, but I was waiting for um, my money to deposit into my account and it didn't until like the afternoon. So I just kind of scoped out things that I wanted 
And I saw this and I kind of fell in love with it. So I got this for my stepdaughter and her boyfriend as a joint gift. And I thought it was so cute. This is a movie night for two. And it's got, what does it have in it? It's got two bags of, looks like two bags of caramel corn, caramel popcorn, two bags of regular popcorn, two bags of red vines, and two boxes of dots. So that is really neat. This will, they are big homebodies and they watch movies all the time and stuff. So this will be really nice for them. Um, I think they'll really, really enjoy that. And this was only $14.95, $14 was it? $14.98. So not a bad deal for this at all. Then as I was heading towards the checkout, I scoped out the books and I saw this. And I had to get this for Royce. Even though it was $7.18, I was like, I have to get that. I, I, he's going to go crazy. And I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him this on Christmas Eve so that we can read it Christmas night before bed. And he'll be really excited about that. So, and it's got like all these blippy things on the inside. Like he's really going to go crazy over that and then it's not here to show you um it's in my kitchen right now but I did buy a rotisserie chicken um for six dollars and 97 cents so that's why my total is going to be a little higher than it should be but um I paid 29 dollars and 13 cents plus a plus a dollar 75 in tax so altogether I paid 30 dollars and 88 cents which now I'm done completely done Christmas shopping and here is what I got on Amazon for my husband. They're supposed to be here on Saturday the 24th. Keep your fingers crossed you guys that it comes here before Christmas and then I can get it wrapped so I can give it to him on Christmas morning. But that is everything for today. I had a crazy day, but I got everything I needed and I am completely done shopping. But that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.